Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Cyberpunk. This is a pre-recorded intro because uh, I kind of cut myself off while I was mid-recording uh, for the last episode. So we had a very short episode last time, but this episode should be the main quest. So it should be just a bit longer. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to go back to live now. Alright, we're back. So, I've come to the afterlife because I decided, after everything, that I wanted to do the afterlife quest? Uh, Ghost Town. I want to track down Hellman. Start at the afterlife. Sure, the place has changed over the years, but one thing never will. You got a question you just can't shake? Head to the afterlife. Always someone there to whisper the answer in your ear for the right price. And if that someone's rogue, shit, I won't miss the meat, this meat for the world. Uh, we also have a level up, but I'm going to do that a bit later. Perfect. I love that you can do that. Interesting. Shit going on. But I'm here to see Rogue, so let's go talk to Rogue, shall we? No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, and it's really her. Fucking rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T-Bug. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something? Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm hmm see? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Wait till Rogue's ready, huh? I guess I can literally wait here for an entire day, that's fantastic. Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often, determination like yours. 
Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Hmm. Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table. But catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Fair. Also, hate wasting time. Especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. What kind of gear are we talking? Cruising speed of an AV like that's 250 miles an hour. Ever tried to grab anything moving that fast? Even tracking her will be difficult. Plus, hmm. this model packs next-gen defenses. So without your uh. firepower, I'll be able to wave to Hellman as he zips past. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. Thought nomads give the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. Did she run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. 
Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. It means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. All Let's clear. Let's get out of here. Thanks. Good luck. Got some new hardware. Yeah. Oh, that's psycho, not <sighs> A washing machine has a motor. Uh, Ugh. I need to call Pan Am. Um, let's read this first, though. I got a message from Delamain. Uh, Dear Miss V, I believe I have discovered the cause of my technical difficulties. Each Delamain vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in critical situations. When contact with the core has been ruptured, if my assessment is correct, the AI cores has seceded from the Delamain network and gone rogue, so to speak. I'm still attempting to work out how. Yeah, that's what I'm saying here. You mean the cars are sentient. Apologies, it seems my explanation was more than a little incoherent. Given the complexity of the situation, allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of vital resources, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of un overcompensation, such as cardiomalogy. Unfortunately, however, I am dealing with a sickness, not the ev with evolution. Hmm. What do you think could have caused it? Um, indeed, that is a question. At first, I suspected the software's increasing complexity and desire to become autonomous, resulting the vehicle to become ipso facto autonomous. Nevertheless, I cannot rule out a virus. For what are the chances that all vehicles would become afflicted simultaneously? I'm in the process of analyzing a glitch observed just before contact with, was severed with the vehicles. Perhaps that is where the answers lie. Good stuff, let me know what happens. This is by far, as far as side, like kind of side missions go, double main side mission is by far my most interested this far. Um, I got a new contact, so we can use my phone, I suppose, and call Palmer, shall we? Hey, Claire, right? <laughs> Come talk about my offer. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Hello. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warhorse want to kick me now? <laughs> this thing between you and Rogue. Couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch in your car? Getting him back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Nice. I'm currently rather sick because of, uh, you know, Johnny in my head. It seems that I had another glitch out when I was going through, which is interesting. Um, so where are we meeting? Uh, down by Cinemero Street. So I guess... I should have just stayed at Afterlife because there's a fast travel point there. Um, I will... Eh, I don't even need to cut. It's literally 80 minutes this way. So it's interesting that it seems like Johnny didn't necessarily want to reveal the fact that he was still alive to Rogue, which is interesting to me. Because he seemed very pleased to see her. They were clearly friends. But I guess there's a good chance that we both end up dead, so I mean, that's even more of a reason, right? You think you're gonna die, so you reach out to your friend you haven't seen in... Well, I guess for him it's been, like, days. But for her, it's been like, what, 50 years? More even? Like 55 years? Alright, luckily I had a fast travel point right here so I can come talk to her. Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. 
Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. But you go alone, you won't get them back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kangtao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kangtao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal. I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash a chum of yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straightened into my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boss, hey. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Clever. Okay. I have bought us some time. Boss. Vista Del Rey, boss. Had no idea you drive for 6th Street. <laughs> Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. They still wild about stars, stripes, and core heartland values. A strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. Gave that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. So, where to now? The Alda Caldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. <laughs> it isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Fair enough. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in. I love the way Johnny just disappears. It's kind of fantastic. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. 
What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. <laughs> Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm-hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. Interesting. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Might not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Interesting. Two separate perspectives. One from her, one from Johnny. Although Johnny hasn't really known her since she's had time to become a frigid old bitch, as it were. I'm talking to you! Alright, I'm gonna skip the ride, I guess. I don't know how much longer the ride would have been, but we may as well skip it. the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm -hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But, but Saul never said a thing about gear. Nice. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear. Then be out of your hair. These guys seem like the nicest people I've met in the entirety of playing like this game. Stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little. Yes. Hey, Pan Am, are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone? It would be hard living out here. Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Feels like Saul is the leader and probably kicked her out for some reason. I'm assuming also her father. Just because of the way narrative goes, that's a hell of a rifle. Will you help me?
me with this. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Soul? When you come back? Hmm. I'm gonna make the assumption that Soul is probably her father. Because, like, no one here is antagonistic against her at all. Next time, Ellie. I promise. Yeah, like, they all love her. <laughs> it's, li it's literally just this one soul guy. It was probably their leader, I would hazard a guess. It's an interesting dynamic, to say the least. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Will do. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. Mm -hmm. They're on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick ass combat implants. Exactly what I was thinking. Really fucked up nightmares. Yep. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue? Saul? Your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. Hell of a promised land. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I <laughs> Fucking hard to live there. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Interesting. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Mm. Not with a bang. But with whispers and whimpers. Sad. Just through necessity, everyone's in a city now. Because, like, as you said, living out here, these guys, like her clan, theoretically, surely they could make a, a town, right? But they're living in tents instead, right? It's too hard to keep an economy going. Probably because of the corpos, I would imagine. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything is down, nothing works here. Got a camera. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. 
The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. I'm not very technical. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. <laughs> right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. Soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on. We'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. Don't know if, well, I was gonna say, I don't know if a car battery would be big enough to jumpstart the substation like this, but... You also have to remember that it's a, a battery of a car from... 2077. Probably designed to last longer and have more juice if I were to hazard a guess. looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got ah. voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. I see. So, we were literally... Fucking... <sighs> well, that was an intriguing bug. <laughs> oh. I hear Just coyotes. That's exactly what I was doing! That's what I was doing, but it threw me a million kilometers away. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I kind of love that that happened, if I'm being perfectly honest. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Please we know where we stand with the substation, can't we just cut it off locally, W, from Alejandro El Garza to Winona Evans? Winona, as I said before, I can disconnect it locally, but I can't promise some drifter won't come back next month and hook it back up. And then you all- and then you all will be left holding the tab for squatter removal and power theft. Leaving it up to you, save some money today and take the risk, or put the whole Rocky Ridge disaster behind us all, uh, for once and for all. Disconnect locally, W, interesting. 
was wondering why we could set this up. Got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. I guess we're getting up here, right? There we go. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. There be light. Grab the car shop. The driver has it. Look for the girl with the mom. A bunch. Look around. No. You're not alive. Fuck. Covering. We have to pick all of them up. Well, that went smoothly enough. Move. I'll take the wheel. Sure, sure. Leave the drive into the pros. It says something when the driving's bad enough that I let the Last. NPCs do it. Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. So it was about vengeance. The whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is Just worse. Just listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old, unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Let's do the deal first. Let's do the deal with Sixth Street first. We can talk about Nash later. 
Later? When? After he hears all about the show at Rocky Ridge? If we go now, we can still take him by surprise. You really want to raid the Raffin's den now. Holding the merch you literally just got back. The cargo will be fine. V, I have to do this. Do you understand? Fine. Ugh. All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Bad idea. But whatever. What Nash did. As long as she doesn't die, I'm good. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? Oh yeah, without a doubt. No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. I was planning on killing Dex a lot, and I was kind of annoyed that Takamura did it first. I'll be perfectly honest. She's still holding the sniper rifle. Are you ready? Let's get him. It's really dark for me. It'll be better for you guys because I brighten it up in post, but it's actually like quite dark inside the cab here. Which is, I like. I like darkness being dark. Granted, in a game like this, you could probably fairly easily. Came on. Well. They're on their last legs. Whoop, I died. My street cred went up though, so that's something. Um, I got hacked, I believe, is what happened there. Oh, I'm in the driver's seat. Well, aren't we close? I haven't yet commented on how hot she is, but she is indeed hot. Less so from inside, but you know, whatever. Wow, they do a lot of damage. I think I was hit by that grenade is what was happening, by the way. Once again, I'm inside her. Unintentional.
Sniper rifle's OP. For both me and them. You. Hey, that's a well worth upgrade. Uh, that was an upgrade I leveled up last time, where when I'm being hacked, it highlights um, who's hacking me, which makes it very easy to take them out. I don't think there's many left. Coward ran. I think there's just two of them. I'll deal with you myself. Coward using a smart gun. There he is. I'll take it. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I took my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! Let's get out of here. What bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Interesting, Johnny. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Johnny does like the idea of revenge. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sixth Street not likely to pull anything? I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Sunset Motel? What's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Right. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Pan Am. How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? 
We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Uh huh. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. B? B? Raffin's wiped, six streets pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. Hmm. Nash is dead. Congrats. Wonder what you were hoping to get out of there. Because I don't think it was just a matter of wounded egos. Even wounded egos wouldn't do something that gunk. Hmm. Interesting. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Well. <laughs> Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trading them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come. You know, it only just occurred to me that maybe I shouldn't be drinking with, uh... <laughs> with this chip in my head. Bitch, damn. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Rathens. We done with them? Oh, no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. Mm -hmm. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Alta Caldos. Think you'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but... Someday. I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could you start over again? That's what I did. Mm-hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. Talking about Rogue. No. But thanks for reminding me. <laughs> v. Do you think I can make a fresh start with her, too? Probably. She seems to better at ease on the right people. You'll work it out. All right, time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan, a first draft, but I need to sleep on it, work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here, just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? There we go. Maybe only one room? Mm-hmm. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. 
Not quite what I had in mind. I know. Just glad to have met you, so I thought... Don't worry about it. Well, bad, okay? I'm glad we met, too. That was a damned tough day. But still, we pulled through. And we'll do it again tomorrow. I like to hear that. Are we alright? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No one will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. Alright, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I took my shot. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to follow her too much further. I'm going to actually go uh, start their next episode. So, once again, like the video, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This guy's just wearing fucking underwear. Whoa, now! Put some pants on! Alright, see <laughs> you next time, guys. <laughs>